got a fun one planned today. We are going to go through my Disney Christmas ornaments. Um, I know it's halfway through December, but better late than never. <laughs> um, I pulled them out just for this video. Yes, that means I don't have my ornaments hung on a tree. Call me a weirdo. I don't like them on a Christmas tree. They're so beautiful. I just love them solo. Actually, this is what I love. I went thrifting just to get these for this video. The ornament trees. I love these bad Johnnies. I have a ton of them, but right now they're being used for other Christmas ornaments throughout the house. So anyway, yeah, I'm a weirdo. I don't like putting them on the tree. I feel like the tree detracts from the beauty of the ornament. I think that just makes me... I'm good with that. Anyway, I don't have a ton of them. This isn't going to be like my Funko Pop video or my Jim Shore video. I only have 17. So let's get into it. I am going to show you them in the order that I received them, purchased them, that they came into my possession. The first three, I couldn't tell you how long I've had them. I believe these were at my dad's house uh, and he sent them to me in a shipment over the years. Uh, I've got two Bambies and I think these are both Hallmark. Yep, yeah, one is Hallmark, and I'm not sure about the other one. Disney Store, so not Hallmark. Anyway, let's do this Bambi and his mother. It's gorgeous. These older ornaments make me so happy. I feel like the paint job is done really well. Baby Bambi, so cute. And then this one is just Bambi in a that traditional pose with the butterfly which I'm really happy to have because I thought I had this in the gym short. I do not. So I'm glad I've got the ornament. And for being an old ornament, actually, do you guys notice that? The older stuff I think is better quality. The paint job on his eyes, so cute. And this one, I was so surprised. Esmeralda. And Jala, Dajala? I believe this is Hallmark. Very impressed with the details on it. Oh, where it says right there. Yep, it's Hallmark. Her eyes might be a little bit big, but they're huge in the movie, right? And they've got that like gorgeous turquoise color. Even, can you guys see it, Jala's earring? Apologies if I'm saying his name incorrectly. He's so stinking cute. Ah, I'm such a nerd. Okay, so yeah, those are the three oldest. No idea how long they've been in my collection. The next two I picked up on my maiden voyage to the parks. My only voyage to the parks, Disneyland. Excuse me, back in 2019. Knob, everybody knows this guy. I think I have decided against getting the doorknob for the door into my Wonderland Museum here. And with that, I'm really glad I have this ornament. So cute. All right, here's the other one I got in the park. I remember seeing this in the window. I just immediately bolted into the store. I was like, yep, that, that right there. You guys check out the details on this like the springs right there and the nuts bolts I don't know what that's called it's made to look like metal dude it's amazing <laughs> I've noticed when I watch back my videos I go look at the details look at the detail I think I'm gonna change my channel name to look at the details <laughs> but for real yeah look at the details <laughs> it too it's flat on the bottom so I can stand it up if I don't want to hang it guys this is art to me it's not just some cutesy little ornament what? all right so when I came back from the parks I jumped online actually I don't even think I made it home I think I was still in the parks and I was like husband do you mind if I add this to cart I found it on eBay 
I had no idea, I guess I could have looked it up before the video, how old this ornament was when I bought it. I'm so glad I bought it. This is a hefty ornament. Can you guys see Roger's details? The paint on his face is perfect. Benny's isn't as perfect, but I love this ornament. And I think, yes, this is my only Roger Rabbit merch. No, I've got a weasel, a weasel Funko Pop. And then I have a dope piece of art. <sighs> I'm like biting my tongue now. I'm like, details, that's why I buy the things I buy. <laughs> but it's true, okay? I don't need to have shame about that. Oh, I love it. All right, one of my other hobbies is thrifting. I found this cutie on a tree at the thrift store. I originally bought her to uh, flip her on eBay, but when I looked her up, there were like a thousand of her on eBay. And I was like, guess I gotta keep her. I think she's part of a set, a uh, Christmas Carol set. I don't care, she's sassy. I love Donald because he's so pissy and she is a sass queen. Oh my gosh. All right, this next one. I keep, well, I was going to say I keep half of these in the boxes, but this one stays in its box. It's my only Lennox ornament. It was a gift from my mother-in-law uh, after we came home from Disneyland. That Christmas I got this. And that is significant because my in-laws are not Disney fans. And not only are they not Disney fans, they may have at one point thought Disney was the devil. <laughs> but they love me and they know that I love Disney. <laughs> So this is a really sweet gift. Does it say 19 on there? Yeah, it does. Now I double checked the box doesn't say if what park this is for. It just says Disney. Uh, so I'm curious, can you tell by looking what park this is supposed to represent? Because since I've been to Disneyland once and that's the extent of my park expeditions, I can't tell, I can't tell which castle is which by looking on. But yeah, if you guys know, there's a little clock up in the corner. I don't know if that's significant or if it's just unique to this ornament. But I have no idea. Just know that I love it. Oh, this one. Okay, so I'm in the park and I see this dude, his statue, not Disneyana, the one in California Adventure. I don't know what that art store is called. Off the page? Is that it? So his statue is like greeting me right as I walk in. And of course, it's out of my price range. And they're almost identical. Uh, the statue, the deed he's holding is open and I think it says deed on it. So naturally, when I saw this one come up for sale on Shop Disney, I was like, ooh, ooh, consolation. Which, it's not a sad consolation. I really love this one. I just love Toad. I think Toad is going to be one of these characters I may break my rule for. My rule of only having one of each character. He's just so... You know what? He reminds me of my husband. This like... I, I was going to say sassy, but it's more like... um An innate, like undeniable need for fun. Like just, and everything is fun and everything is a rip -war and good time. And the only thing that brings him down is if you like try to kill his buzz. <laughs> but he's eternally having a good time. Just made that connection. My husband's cuter than Toad, but in their heart, they might be the same. All right, we're almost halfway there. This, I told you it's gonna be quick. All right, who's up, who's up? Ooh, ooh, my only Aristocats merch. I love this one. So it's their 50th anniversary. And you guys, not only the details on their cute little faces, but look at that. Out the door. Their butts are hanging out the door. <laughs> I love it so much. The details are really, I mean, this one was well done. The paint job is well, everything. Another one of those hefty Disney ornaments. What are their names? Marie. I know one of them is Toulouse. Toulouse. And I don't know the third one. 
Go ahead and leave a comment. Educate me. Let me know what it is. All right. Queen of Hearts. You have got to see this up close. These guys in particular, the croquet mallet and the um, ball, whatever that critter is. I hope you can see that. Fingers crossed I'm getting a camera for Christmas so I don't have to keep working blind in these videos and guessing if I'm in the shot. So please forgive me if I'm not in the shot. But can you make that out at all? So this ornament, I mean, I love them all, but I don't like the way she's done in Funko Pop. I don't like the way she's done in Jim Shore. I love this ornament. Her expression is perfect. The others that I mentioned, I don't think they get her expression right. This is perfect. So yeah, Hallmark, killing it. This one I got secondhand on eBay. 2016? 2018? I'm 41, okay, and so are my eyes. 2018! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Fangirling on Dave. I think on Instagram, I think he's D-A-V-D-A-F. On YouTube, I don't know if it's the same, but he is a Disney fan, a Disney collector. He does collect a lot of like signature dolls, but he collects everything. I watched one of his room tour videos and this ornament came up and I like ran to eBay. So this is from Silly Symphony, if you don't know. And I'm so, so impressed. It looks just like her expression, his expression. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the little flowers dancing on the bottom. Do you see that? Even the butterflies on her trunk. It's gorgeous. So this is the only one I have. It came in a box like this. Sketchbook. I know a lot of the sketchbook ornaments just come with the tag on the ribbon, but this one came in the box. 1932, Flowers and Trees. Part of Silly Symphony was the first Disney color animation short. When I see this, I just flash back to uh, reruns on loop in my house growing up. She's so beautiful. That's a good one. Okay, I think last Christmas, two Christmases ago. Dude, when you're as spoiled as I am. Um, I cannot find crush merch that makes me happy. I watched someone's ornament collection and this crush came out. Oh, it's his expression. Look, that looks just like crush, doesn't it? Ooh, sorry about the shaking. I may have had one or two or three coffees today. So his expression is perfect, but I also love scale. So Dory and Marlon, Marlon, I think look perfect there on his back. Oh my gosh, his little eyes. I just, you can hear his voice when you look at this ornament. <laughs> it makes me so happy. That's the other reason I don't like putting uh, my ornaments on the Christmas tree. Some of these I just have out all year long and I have them in their appropriate, appropriate what? Appropriate vignettes. Because yeah, I need this kind of joy all year long. Oh my God. Yeah, gift from the hubs. Because I'm spoiled. All right, speaking of spoiled, last year, Thank goodness for the gram. I mean, if it wasn't for the gram, I wouldn't see half of these things get released. Then again, I might have a little bit more money if it wasn't for the gram. But yeah, this got released last year. I was like, husband, I need it. This was the first ornament that had audio. My first talking ornament. First of all, get a look-see. I bought it because I wanted it on my Toy Story shelves. It's out all year long. But I only put the battery in for this video. A good soldier never leaves a man behind. Come in, Mother Bird. This is Alpha Bravo. Come in, Mother Bird. <laughs> Every time. Hey, 
Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home. <laughs> All right, men. Code red. Repeat. We are in code red. Recon plan Charlie. Execute. Let's move, 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 move. <laughs> Oh, is there one more? Come in, Mother Bird. This is Alpha Bravo. Come in, Mother Bird. I have the best husband. Oh my god. I'm so spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Oh, we're down to my last three. I bought, I got all of these this summer. All Hallmark. Love this guy. Luca? On his scooter, on his moped. So I have, sorry about this string. His two homies in Funko Pop. Is it Julia and Alberto? Because they're perfect. They look just like the characters in the movie. I didn't like his so much. His did not, it's close, but it wasn't perfect. So I didn't get it. So I had to get this ornament. Cause it, dang it. Cause it is him. Perfection. His little scooter. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I love it. I'm so happy I got this guy. All right. And then... <sighs> I have a problem. <laughs> I have a rule, a guideline. That's what I have. I have a supposed guideline where my goal is to have represent every single Disney movie with at least one item. And I would love to represent not every single character, but a couple characters from the movie, my favorite characters from the movie with one item. That way it keeps me, you know, from filling up a house or spending every penny I have or maxing out credit cards or annoying loved ones with wish lists. <laughs> this guy I have already broken my rule for. I have four Zerks. And I love them all. I love them all. Got this guy at Hallmark this year. And if I didn't love him on sight. Just love being a collector. <laughs> okay, last one. Hades. Oh, I went, this is why I went into Hallmark this summer, is I saw this cat on someone's gram and I was like, oh, gotta have it. He was sold out. He was limited edition because um, I guess Hercules had a 25th anniversary this year. So when I walked into Hades, they were all gone. I called my husband pouting. Legit, for real, called him pouting. <laughs> Wasn't happy with the other $60 worth of ornaments in my bag. Yes, I was. But just had to tell him I was heartbroken about this. And then halfway through the phone call, I was like, do I regret telling him? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to go buy it on the secondhand market where it's you know, going for double what it was a few weeks ago. And I was like, do I regret that? <laughs> I'm loved, okay? I'm loved. Look at his 
face. The details. I said it. I said it because it's true. Look at his hand. These teeny tiny details. The intricacy, like his teeth, his eyes, his expression, the paint job is phenomenal. And when you do that, you get my money or my husband's money, as the case would be with this one. I love the smoke curls. <sighs> I don't have enough Hercules merch. Perfect. All right, guys, that's all my ornaments. One day, 400 years from now, I will have all my ducks in a row. Until then, here's a Jack Skellington ornament from Hallmark. So what I'm going to do is hang them on their ornament trees. Give you a little tour of that. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking that out with me. That was a lot of fun. I'm having such a ball making this channel, <laughs> showing you guys everything that makes me a big nerd. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know if you had a favorite. Let me know if you have a problem with buying ornaments. <laughs> Is it really a problem? All right, guys, thanks so much. That was a lot of fun. We'll see you in the next one.